obscure, to be relatively unknown or undiscovered by most. An artist that encompasses the obscure in their art would be Twitter artist Bubba. Or actually, would they be called an ex-artist? Oh. Oh god. Ex-artist Bubba mostly draws obscure animals, typically hanging out with anime girls. To me, the weird allure of her art is how ugly some of these animals look. And that's not a knock on her, but rather on the guy upstairs. Hey. Personally, I find looking at Bubba's drawings to be actively fun. What disgusting creature is this, I ask myself. Why? Why did they do this? These are the questions I ponder while looking at Bubba's art, and I want you to ponder along with me, starting with a sea creature. This is the worst looking fish I have ever seen. It's called a sheep's head wrasse, and has a uniquely distinct looking face. In Japan, these fish are called kobudai, kobu meaning a minor bump or swelling from an injury, of which this species seems to have on its forehead. Something wholesome around the animal is a real story of this older Japanese man that befriended a kobudai he named Yoriko after he nursed her back to health. Their relationship is not only super precious, but there's some good footage of him caring for her. The man pets and kisses Yoriko like a dog, and my heart can't take it. God, it's hideous. Here's another one of Bubba's drawings, this time of a wrinkly dog. I think it's called a Neapolitan Mastiff, a type of breed originally meant to be guard dogs. Nowadays, they're meant to replicate what a living, breathing ice cream would look like. Delicious. After doing a bit of research, I learned that in 2017, one of its ilk had won first place in a competition for World's Ugliest Dog. Well done, Martha. You've finally done it. Here's another one of Bubba's drawings, this time of a girl hanging out with mudskippers. It's a type of fish that resides both in water and on land. While one would think that its land traversing abilities as a fish would be its most unique quality, I personally think it would be their voice. <laughs> Alright, in this drawing, Bubba made- what the hell is that? Guys, what, what the hell is that? Is anyone else seeing this? The elephant seal is a massive carnivore that can weigh up to 4,500 pounds. The male seals feature elongated inflatable noses that are used to loudly threaten each other. Not only are they absolute units of land and sea, but they're also aggressively territorial. In other words, this girl is done for. She just doesn't know it yet. Any second now. Here, we have a character from an older anime posing with what's called a golden ghost crab. As their name would suggest, the carapace on them is a remarkably bright gold. To unlock the golden crab skin, you have to complete all of the challenges in-game which you can look at here. A good beginner tip is that all of these achievements can actually be played on the easiest difficulty and still count as completed. For example, get a win without firing your weapon would be easily done on the lowest difficulty. Doing so will of course mitigate chances of failure. The same can be said for the surviving until I live 100 and salvage 100 pickups in a single run challenges. With that said, good luck on your runs, crab champions. There's probably like five people that appreciated that segment. In this drawing, if I didn't know any better, I'd call this creature cute, but they're actually extremely dangerous and are notoriously known for having taken a few lives. Next to it is a Chinese giant salamander. As one of the largest amphibians in the world, they can weigh up to 66 pounds. Unfortunately, today, they're a critically endangered species because of their value as a delicacy and as a part of traditional Chinese medicine. But luckily, there are a few conservation groups working to preserve their species, so. Here's likely the reference picture of the drawing Bubba used. The man in the picture looks so proud of himself, as he should be. I too would like to be trusted enough to hold such a rare and delicious animal. Here we have a drawing that takes place underwater. The weird floating thing there is called a sea angel, which is a water slug with wings. To move, they propel themselves forward by flapping, being able to move at speeds of 100 millimeters a second. The sea angel's prey, which only moves half as fast, are called sea butterflies. Despite their name, they're more akin to snails, given their mollusk-like nature. The predator-prey relationship of angels versus butterflies is a good reminder to never touch the ocean. Here's a cute drawing of best girl Rin from Yuru Camp. 
In it is an animal called a bobak, marmot, a mammal similar to a prairie dog except residing in Eastern Europe and Central Asia. On TikTok, there's this guy named IZ6FVKB who feeds the marmots, and it's pretty wholesome content. The specific clip Bubba references in their drawing is from this post. <laughs> That's good stuff. In this drawing is a naked mole rat. Residing primarily in East Africa, their alternative and more endearing name is Sand Puppy. Under human care, they've been found to live for as long as 30 years, nearly double the lifespan of actual dogs. Looking at Bubba's art, this drawing may have you believe that they're as big as one too, but they're actually closer to four to six inches long. Despite the inaccurate depiction, its wrinkly, uncircumcised disposition is close to the genuine article. Impressive. All right, I think that's the majority of the drawings. Bubba's choice of animals absolutely embody the word obscure. But before I wrap up the video though, there's actually one more real observation I wanted to make about her art that I never would have noticed if I hadn't gone out of my way to make a video on her. It's not about how playfully colorful all of these are, or how much character is added with the simple backgrounds, although all these things are true, but rather, it's a pretty obvious detail that, to me, elevates Bubba's art by an extra layer. It's her choice of anime girls. Take, for example, the girl with the wrinkly dog. The character in it is called Multi. Multi is from an obscure romance novel called Two Heart, released in 1997. I have never heard of it until Bubba happened. This drawing with a shoe bill has a girl named Mayuda who comes from a popular computer trend in 2002 involving something called Ukagaka. Ukagaka is a Japanese program that installs a mascot character called a ghost on the user's desktop. You can talk with them, pet them, and even have them check your emails. They're kind of like Bonzi Buddy, but for weebs. Again, I have never heard of any of these terms like ugakaka or ghosts used in this context until Baba happened. In this drawing, the girl next to the elephant seal is Dokuro, who's from an anime from 2005 called Bludgeoning Angel Dokuro-chan, which is about a kid who, 20 years in the future, will develop a technology that will stop women from aging past 12 years old to create a lolicon's paradise. As the show progresses, a bunch of assassins from the future are trying to kill him to stop that technology from being made. What the hell did I just read? Alright, this is a long-winded way of me saying Bubba has a fascination with things from the early 2000s. Trying to figure out where some of these characters come from actually leads to some really cool rabbit holes, and I can't help but respect some of the extremely niche of a niche genres she's found. Seriously, there's like one video in all of YouTube that explains what a Uga Kaka is. It honestly makes me wonder what other forgotten media is worth exploring again. And I wonder if these series are like really important to Bubba. Either way, this creativity makes Bubba stand out, and it doesn't surprise me that she has the following that she does. Not only is their art and sense of humor great, but their desire to draw obscure animals and obscure anime related media is nice. Anyways, that's all I've got. Follow Bubba in the link below and subscribe to the channel. I am so close to 10k. With that said, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.